What's up, what's up, my LV besties? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. You guys, 5. It is already 5 days into December. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I've got a lot to do because I'm like so legit behind on Christmas. Like, as far as getting my presents all evened out, wrapping them, putting them in sacks, and just all that sorting them out i'm like so legit behind you guys i really am i've got to get like with the program no lie but here's the thing i have like so much going on like with my daughter and her school stuff i'm like so busy like tonight we have the christmas parade but that's not a big deal it's just that i have so much like laundry and i don't know it just seems like it's so much busier this year than it was last year when I did Vlogmas. I'm still gonna be a nice mom, make my daughter a hot cocoa drink this morning. So like that just kinda like gets her in like the Christmas like mood. And then like since she's got the parade tonight, you know, I don't know. I don't know, I just thought I would do that for her because I don't really want a cup of it. But I did ask her and she said she would take one. So I'm gonna do that. And she doesn't eat breakfast before school. I don't know, she never has. None of my kids ever did. They always wanted to wait and starve, I guess, until lunch. I don't know, but they're not breakfast eaters. But really and truly, though, I'm not either. Like, the only way that I will eat breakfast is if I know it's going to be, like, a good while before lunch, you know? So, then I will make myself eat, but I'm really not big on breakfast, and neither are my kids. So, I'm going to make her a cup of hot cocoa and put her a peppermint stick in it and some marshmallows on top, and yeah, give her that for breakfast. So, um, I guess it could be breakfast. It's hot chocolate, whatever. That's just, um, yeah, that's just the things you do when you're down to your last kid. You're like, Chocolate for breakfast? Okay, that's fine with me. That's fine with me, baby girl. Chocolate for breakfast. Whatever's easy as on mommy. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, so, um, well, not really. <laughs> totally not joking, you guys. I'm just like, okay, whatever you want. Um. Okay, so, I'm going to video, of course, my giving the little pups their treat from their advent calendar. And then I'm going to fix the countdown calendar to the right day because i was off yesterday mm -hmm. yeah. i was given us an extra day in december and um instead of being on the right day i was adding a day for us okay but it's all because like i skipped the day before and i was confused <laughs> so we're gonna get that right today okay we're gonna get it right and then i'm gonna light some candles in here just because um, you know, I want to get in the Christmas spirit and nothing puts me in the Christmas spirit more than my sweet, good smelling, um, well, what are we, I don't even know what I have in here, but it's probably vanilla bean Noel or that snickerdoodle candle. So that's what I'm going to do first is light these candles and yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, um, I will do the advent calendar, do the countdown and or make the hot cocoa for my daughter and then I'm going to take you guys into my YouTube room and then I'm going to do a video. Yes, but I'm gonna turn this camera around now, but I have to stop it to do that. So I'm gonna light these over here. I just want the house to smell good all day today. I'm gonna to try to get some presents wrapped and it's, it's actually gifts that I don't plan on showing you guys and not because I don't wanna show you guys, but just because I don't want my kids that watch these, like my sneaky little daughter-in-law and stuff to see them. So there's some things I don't mind showing you guys. And then, um, I don't know if I wanna light those right yet because they're a little close to the candy canes. Um, anyways, I don't want to, I don't want her to see everything I got her. And she's, she wouldn't know not to watch it. And then if I tell her not to watch it, I'm so scared she might. Well, let me see if I can get this thing to work in here. There we go. I love candles. Last year, I had some of the crackling candles. I actually, I got, I think I, I can't remember if I had them in my Vlogmas or not, or if I got them for Christmas. But, oh, man, they sounded so good. And I've been trying to find them again at Walmart. But 
I got them for Christmas from my, from my sister-in-law. And so I'm sure she, I, I'm assuming she got them from Walmart because it was a Walmart brand, but I really don't know. If, if, if they don't have them there, then I know I can get them off of Amazon. I need to move that candle back from that um, sign, but I'll do it here in a little bit. Okay, so I did fix it. We were on 21 days yesterday, but I had 22. <laughs> so we're going to change it to 20 days left until Christmas. And you guys, I hope, like heck, I'm counting that right. It's been a rough few days. Okay, so where's my babies? Hey, Coco. Hey, Coco. She's been the only one in here with me chilling this morning. Lulu. Turbo, y'all want a treat? I know you want a treat, baby girl. I know, I know. Go tell, go tell your brother and sister. Come get a treat. Go tell them. Okay, Turbo. Oh, or Lulu, you were in the living room. Okay, Turbo. Hey. Everybody was just everywhere this morning. Coco is a super excited about getting this treat. Girls and boy want a treat? It's so weird saying you girls and boy. I just want to say you girls. I'm so used to saying you girls because before we got um, turbo, I would just say, hey girls. So it's so hard not saying that now. And I mean, obviously he don't know if he's a boy or a girl, <laughs> but I'm still, I still can't do it. Like I can't call him a girl. I can't look at him. He's not a girl. He is a baby boy. Aren't you Turby? You're saying I, we are the girls, not him. He's boy. We girls. Little one right here. She thinks she's a princess. So she doesn't like to touch the ground. We have to make her go outside to use the bathroom. Well, I'll take that back. She likes to touch the ground if you take her on walks, like in our neighborhood, but she doesn't want to go out to the grass. So we have to force her because she's a princess baby. Mm -hmm. And then Coco, she's our little wild child. She likes to, to escape and go um, hunt squirrels and birds and that kind of stuff. So we have to like make sure every little hole is filled in outside or, or any spot that you might could possibly dig out so that she doesn't get into the neighbor's backyard or yeah pretty much that would be it right now would be the neighbor's backyard with this house because that's what's surrounding us so yeah and and they have gotten back there plenty of times don't think they haven't and you guys one time my husband had to go like get them out of the backyard and our neighbors were not home and he had to look at their security camera <laughs> You know the cameras that they put, people put at your at the door, so you can like see who's at your door or whatever. Yeah, he had to look up at it and say, "Ring the doorbell first, and they didn't come, so he knew they wasn't home. So he had to look up at the camera and say, "I'm sorry, I'm here to get my dogs out of your backyard." But if he didn't do that, they would have went in the doggy door and went to their home. <laughs> he was ready to literally like just yeah. It was, he was pretty. Um, hot. <laughs> and then he would get them over here one at a time, and then they would run back underneath that hole that they dug and back to the neighbor's yard. So it's just like a, a big ordeal. And so, yeah, he had to go to Lowe's and get some stuff to like really fix it up where they could not go back to the neighbor's yard. But that's the things that they do. Coco digs and then they follow. Yeah, you heard me say that, didn't you, Coco Chanel? You heard me. Lou was sticking her head underneath the fence when he was on in the neighbor's backyard and she was teasing him was what she was doing. Yeah, and then he would come back to the house and, and then she would be over in the back neighbor's, neighbor's backyard again. Yeah, so that's what he dealt with one day. <laughs> They're little rascals. Yes, they are. And apparently the neighbor's dog does not like other dogs. And it's a small dog, so we did not want... By any means, our dog's going into their home. So, yeah, that was fun times. Okay. All right. So, but, the, but everybody's good right now. So, y'all want a treat? All right. So, let's do the advent calendar. So, we did day three yesterday because it was whatever I found. I remember that. I'd skipped a day. So, let's see. If with four or five, it really doesn't matter. It's the same treat every single time. All right. So, we'll just do four just to keep it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, they um they didn't do different treats. They did the same treats in all of in in every single date. Okay, so over here, 
We got I'm scared it's gonna break my fingernails. Like very hard to get into. Okay, so I'm going only going to open up these. Oh, oh wait, these may be different because this is just one a piece. Okay, well they've been coming with two in a package, and I only need three. But this one might be different. Okay, these are hard to get into. Hang on a minute. Okay, let me grab my scissors. I thought I brought them over here. Oh, no? All right, let me find my scissors. Here they are. 25th of December. It's on the way. Okay, that was not good singing. Oh, I have one left here. Hmm, I don't know what that is all about. Okay, but let me cut these. Well, you can really tell I am not a vlogger with the way that this... <laughs> with the way I keep this um, phone all shaking and moving around and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is why I'm not a daily vlogger, you guys. No, no, no. I don't even know that I could do that. Like, I'm having trouble keeping up with this right now every day. <laughs> okay, so let's lay out the treats here. Let me do it with the other hand. They're big treats. Okay. I have to give them all like right together or they will think they didn't get one. As soon as they, theirs is gone, they see the other ones eating. Yeah, that's what they think. All right, Coco, Turbo, Lulu. They love treats, you guys. They live for them. They really do. <laughs> Are those good babies? Are those good? Okay, as I finish their treats, I am going, oh yeah, I was gonna make my daughter a cup of cocoa, hot chocolate, whatever. Let's see, what cup would she like me? I have like Christmas glasses and plates for like our um, traditional Christmas breakfast that I make, but those are up there. So I just have like mugs and stuff just all through here. You guys, I'm not organized by any means. This is for life, right? Okay, so I think I'll just do her a Merry Christmas one, or, I don't know, hang on. There is, good old Frosty. What is Frosty? It's bigger. Okay. I have a lot more, but I don't know where they're at. Hmm. I'll have to try to find them, because I have like some the Christmas story one. Y'all don't look at my dishes in the sink. The Christmas story one. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I have those and then a few more that are like from movies. And they're really cute. I just gotta find them. So, I'm actually going to use one of these um, chocolate spoons because I'm gonna stir with it. And if it melts in it, she will just be that much more happier. One. Oh, wow, you guys. <laughs> Maybe I won't. I'm going to lay that right there. Okay, well, I'm going to... Let's see. Hang on. It, yeah, that's going to be too short to stir. Okay, well, forget that idea. Back to this. Okay. There's three. I did find some of the packets of hot chocolate in Target. But I was going to use up this first and then go get some because I want to make sure that this even gets used. Okay, we might just do one more because I think she would want hers a little more chocolatey than what I did. Okay, so let me go get the milk and pour it in there. Mom of the year, making my daughter chocolate milk. Well, it's not chocolate milk, but hot chocolate for breakfast. That's what we do around here. <laughs> we do what we want. No, I'm just joking. It's just for the Christmas season. Okay, so let's go heat this up.
It did not spill over the cup or splash out in the microwave the last time I made some. So I'm thinking it's not going to. Okay. Oh, sorry, Coco. Accidentally kicked Coco on the floor because they get right underneath my feet, you guys, like right underneath my feet. And I forgot to take this spoon with me over there. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there, or put that back on there. Now let's stir it and get it all, all the chocolate out from the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. I, I, for, I tend to forget that I have a phone in my hand when I'm doing things. <laughs> so, you guys are just probably all dizzy all the time. Sorry. Okay. You're going to lay right there on top of that little chocolate one. Now, I'm going to get her some marshmallows. Drop some of these in there for her. I don't know how many she would prefer, but I'm just gonna drop what I think. Cause I'm a good mom like that. <laughs> I'm making sure she has plenty, that's for sure. So, I'm going to also open up a peppermint stick. Let's see. Oh, wow, okay. No, I'm not. I'm sure not gonna do that because it's just gonna fall. But I am gonna put her a peppermint in here because honest to goodness, you guys, y'all let me know if y'all like it too, but she likes peppermint mixed with marshmallows in the hot chocolate. So, darn ass. I just like mine plain, but if she likes it, she likes it. Okay, there's one of those. I guess she kinda likes just a little bit of the taste, but that's a dissolving one, as you can see. So, I would put two, but I don't know how many she normally does. So, if she wants to, she can come back and get um, another one. So, I would take this in there and give it to her, but I'm not sure if she's getting to rest and she might would kill me. Well, obviously, she would probably kill me, um, and I wouldn't do that anyways. But, um, I'm going to turn this off and go give her her cup of hot cocoa, and then I will be back in just a few minutes. So here is what I am putting in the stockings today. And it, it's just like bubble bath by Dr. Tills. It's foaming bath or whatever. This one says relax and relief. And this one says soothe and sleep. But I love these, you guys. And we all do. Like my kids like taking baths with those. So I got those for the girls. And then today I'm just going to do the water burger cards for the boys. Okay, so. Before I fill the stockings, I have been meaning to let you guys know this, but I have been forgetting each time that I am doing the 12 Days of Christmas stocking stuffers. And I did that in my Vlogmas last year. And I thought it was a fun little thing to do because, I don't know, I've always just kind of wanted to do that, but I never really have. But anyways, I just want to also tell you guys that the red ones are the boys. The white ones are the girls easy to remember and it's got each kid's initial on it so anyways just wanted to let all of y'all know that because I know y'all have probably, probably been wondering why I was putting stocking stuff for time in their stockings and it's not Christmas Eve but yeah or I'm sorry Santa does that but yeah we know we know Santa does that right there he is he's chilling there he is he's just waiting for Christmas Eve right Okay, bye Santa, bye stockings, and now I'm going to fill them. What's up my LV besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy 
If you are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing and welcome to my YouTube journey. If you are not new and you are just jumping back on for another video, thank you so very much. I appreciate you all more than you can ever imagine and I just want to say thank you so very much for watching my videos every single day or any day for that matter. I just cannot thank you guys enough. I just want to show you guys real quick a little bit of what I've got going on in here as far as decorative wise goes and that is my nutcracker right here. Um, this little thing I don't think you can see it's like a little Santa box. I mean, I just showed you guys this yesterday. I just picked it up because I thought it was cute. I don't think it can be seen in the video. So I may end up putting it on a shelf somewhere. But for now, it's just sitting over here beside him. And then I have my tree. I've got to work with it some more. It bends really easy. But anyways, I am going to buy some more little ornaments to put on it. But I haven't yet um, because I just have not had time. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever you play it so cute yep. check it out let me move it in front right here so you guys can see I didn't know it turned how cute is that like legit cute and when I have more like little ornaments on it it's gonna be so adorable so I've got to go to Hobby Lobby because I think that's where I'm gonna go get them and um, yeah put some more ornaments and make this really cute however I'm not gonna play this with the whole video well okay doesn't matter because it's not fun time but um yeah I just brought it in here just a few minutes ago and at least play it like once through the video because like who doesn't want to hear that and see that cute little Christmas tree turn <laughs> I do okay so also let's see I put my little gold Christmas tree right there and then my little gnome is sitting in between those two bags and then, I don't know if you guys can see over here or not, the Christmas tree may be in the way. But there is my reindeer sitting there. And then, of course, my snow globe up there. I hope you guys can see it in the camera. I can't see very good. But there's just a couple things. And then, um, I tried the snowman picture right here that I've got to take back to Hobby Lobby. Because it required two holes and my husband didn't want to drill like another hole in the wall just for that. So I thought, well, that's okay. I'll hang my big frosty that I had on my interior door last year. And I thought that would be cute too. Well, the he has a screw that's holding up that picture. So it needed something to stick out um, farther than the screw. And so he put up a um, man strip hook thing, whatever those things are called. And as I was about to get ready to video down, Frosty came. So it did not hold him. <laughs> My husband was kind of unsure that it would anyways, but we thought we'd just give it a shot and see. So I don't know. I may not have anything going behind me. It's okay. It is okay. All right. So I'm going to do the advent calendars and then I'm going to get on with my video for today. But of course we've got to do this. And I'm trying to play catch up, you guys remember, because I was <laughs> <y'all> sick <laughs> the other day. Okay, so we're on day five. On day five. And I think I told you guys we were, go we were going to go to Dallas today, but we've decided not to. So I got some, oh, I got some of that pumpkin. This stuff must be pretty good because this was also in that pack of free Ulta things that I opened up for you guys yesterday. It's by Tony. Tony Molly, Miss Vicky, if you're watching, I'm going to really need your help to these videos. <laughs> Miss, if y'all have not watched Miss Vicky's channel, and that's her um, YouTube net channel name, y'all should go check her out. I'll actually link her in my description box below because she knows everything about skincare and makeup. And I've gotten so many like a good ideas from her. And yeah, so Miss Vicky, I'm going to need your help with some of this. You can just let me know if I don't even need to try it, if I need to just figure out something else to do with it, or if it's a great product. <laughs> I'm totally joking, but you can't help. Okay, so this is um, eye cream. So, Plumpkin Eye Cream, okay? So, that's what I got from Macy's. I'm not going to put it up to the camera because you guys seen it yesterday. Or I think y'all did anyways. I don't know. I'll probably show y'all in the end. Okay, 
So from Sephora, let's see. Oh, and I actually forgot to do day four yesterday. So I just did day three. And then I was like all thrown off because day nine fell into day three. <laughs> they really worked hard on keeping this one all put together. They're all like falling in here. Like, I don't even know. Like, I'm not ever getting this one again. Okay, so where are we at? We, I need to do day four. Where is day four? What is going on? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Like what? You know, this, I should not have done this one. They're not like closed off. They're like falling into the other day. So like day four has nothing in here. I don't know what's going on with this one, you guys. They, it all may be down in day seven, who knows? Okay, they left us with just wishing you, and then the products are falling into the other dates. Next year, I will have better advent calendars, for sure. But I just really didn't even know where to start this year, because it was the first time I'd ever done an advent calendar. All right, so let's do day five. I do see it in there. Okay, so this is, yeah, okay, this is mascara. It's called Big, Big by Definition. I'll just show you guys up Close. I am not up with Sephora's brand of makeup or half of what like is in the Macy's. Yeah, I'm definitely doing different calendars next year. But here they are, you guys. Let's let me turn them around at least where you guys can see. Um, let's just do it like this. So there, that's what I got. Okay, that's what I got. So day four. Day four is a mystery, and day 24 and day seven maybe two. I don't know, but that's what I got for today was these two things, and I'm going to set them over to the side. Yeah, I'm not too happy with these. The, Macy's is not so bad. I'm not too happy with Sephora's at all, but, um, you know, I saw it, thought it was cute, and just went with it. I'm gonna, like I said, next year I'm gonna do some better ones. So for wishing you today, I am wishing you nothing but smiles from every person that you come in contact with, or pass by in any hallway or any or on any street or going down the road or wherever in in the grocery stores in. No, wherever you're at, I'm wishing that everybody gives you a smile so, so that you can feel special today. To me, when people smile at me, it makes me feel special. Like, you know, like it just shows their kindness. So I want you all to feel special today. And I hope that everybody is giving you a smile no matter what you're doing or where you're at. Okay? And this is my smile to you guys. All right. So that is my Advent Calendars Epic Fail for day five vlogmas day five i cannot believe we're on day five you guys all right okay so, so today's video is going to be a tag that i'm doing and i was tagged by bags passionate and this is the tag video show the bag or accessories giving you christmas and new year's eve vibes okay that's easy to do totally easy and thank you, Bags Passionate. Thank you so much for tagging me. And I'm so very happy to do your tag. And yeah, so if y'all have not watched any of her videos, y'all go watch hers and subscribe and like and comment and share on her video because she did a very good one. And I liked that tag. And so when she tagged me, I was like, absolutely, I'll do that tag for sure. That's fun too. And it's a Christmassy thing. And that's what I'm trying to do is like Christmas things on for the month of December. So I will start with the bags and accessories that give me Christmas vibes. And I really only have one, and it is my also bag of the video because I did not pull a bag out for the bag of the video. So this is the one that's gonna be it. So it is my tabby in the size 26 in the color red. It's a soft pillow tabby at that. And I added my own chain and I have been playing around with chains for all of my bags. And I like this one that hangs just right below where you would open the bag. I don't like the chains to hang down too low. But then I don't want them up here where they're getting in the way of you opening the bag. So this one that came off my um, 
Luke GM Hobo bag worked perfect. So you open up the bag like that. So it's got just a little magnetic closure. Very easy to do. And here is the inside of the bag. I really, really, really love this bag. Okay, so why I have this bag. For one, I wanted a pillow tabby, by Co and this is by Coach, bag in general. And then I wanted a red bag that I could carry through the holidays, but yet I did not want to spend a whole lot of money on a red bag. And, and yes, this bag was still expensive. I'm not saying that. But what I mean by that is I did not want to buy like a Louis Vuitton, Chanel, or, you know, something up in the thousands for a bag that I'm only going to carry literally probably, you guys, through like this time of the of the year. And then also, you know, with certain outfits, I would carry this bag. But this is not going to be a bag that I'm just going to grab for, for an everyday bag because it's red. And there's a lot of times I'm... I'm not wearing clothes that would match red and I used to not match my bags to my outfits but I do now so this is a beautiful bag I love it I will be using it all through December I haven't put my things over into it yet but I'm going to probably tonight as a matter of fact I don't have my bag in here that I'm carrying right now but I pr I'm probably going to switch that over tonight because you know what it's December so why not start carrying it right and get a good month's use out of it but I really love the tabby bags. They're beautiful. I love the big C on the front of it. I just think that really pops. With the gold hardware, I think it just really makes the bag pop. Gold against red. That's just beautiful to me. It did come with a top handle strap, but I didn't care for it on there. First of all, it was very bent up, and I still have not got that thing to straighten out, you guys. So I just thought this one would work, and if I wanted to use it, for like um, grabbing it and and carrying it around like that I can just hold on to the chain you know like that's just as pretty to me and then it just falls right back over the front of it but yeah so this to me gives me like total Christmas December vibes 100% no doubt about it because it's bright red it's beautiful I did buy it with Christmas in mind and I like I said I've wanted a red bag for a long time I just did not want to dish out a ton of money for one just because I know what little use I will get out of it you know what I mean so this is the bag that gives me Christmas vibes December vibes all that fun stuff okay but I'm not done you guys because I could not leave out my little Christmas animation pieces I don't have one with me which is the one where Vivian went to the fair because I have that one in my bag that's in my room and I yeah, I forgot to go get it, <laughs> bottom line. But I have this one where Vivian visited Hollywood there in the Dommy Loser. This one was from last year, okay, 2021. This one is from 2022, and it's where Vivian is visiting Tokyo, and it's got Mount Fuji in the back, and I literally love that so much. And it's got the blue leather on it right here on the end with blue on the inside and I love this aqua blue color I think that's just beautiful I was so happy to get that this year and let me go back to this one and show you guys because it's got like the hot pink on the inside of it love it so much so my mini pochettes are also things that give me oh sorry tree are also things that give me um Christmas vibes obviously they're Christmas animation but I will use these throughout the year also all right and then the other one is my key pouch and I was so happy to get this one because I did not think I would be able to but it's Vivian visiting Paris and this is the first year that they came out with Vivian visiting anywhere and put it on the key pouch so I was so excited to have this piece as part of my collection because I will use it and and I know like a lot of people probably think these are childish but if you love Louis Vuitton like I do then you totally get the whole Vivian thing I mean it's to me it's just like it's it's awesome I, I look forward to these coming out and I'm trying to backtrack and get the ones that I missed 
just from the past year so that I started um, collecting Louis Vuitton bags. Even if I found some that was before that that was really pretty, I would probably still get them too because why not? You know, I would love to collect any of the Christmas animation pieces because they're so beautiful and I know they are a little more expensive but you also have to think about all the time that went into someone painting all of this. This is a lot of detailed artwork, you guys. Hey, they're worth it. Whoever is painting these does an amazing job, you guys. They really do. So yeah, this one has the light pink on the inside. It's probably the ballerine um, color from Louis Vuitton where this one has the hot pink, okay? So I have other pieces too. I could not leave out of these three pieces that give me tree we're gonna go round and round <laughs> well you're gonna go round and round I'm not gonna go round and round she was already spinning around and around I can't go round and around um I'm gonna have to make you okay just come to make you I could not leave out these special pieces that I love so much and like I said I do have one of them that I'm carrying in my bag right now and it was from 20 it was either 2020 or 2019 I can't recall but it was one of the two where Vivian visited the fair I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments which one that was. So those are the things that give me Christmas vibes. Now, the one that I chose that would give me New Year's Eve vibes is my Gucci Marmont bag. And let me just get the strap out real quick. And I'm actually going on a cruise. We are leaving on December the 26th. So anyways, I'm going to take this with me. I will probably carry this to the New Year's Eve party that they have on the ship. Because you guys, if y'all have ever been on a cruise, or carnival cruise anyways, they do an amazing New Year's Eve party. So everybody dresses up and they're handing out champagne left and right. And they did a big countdown on um, the big TV that looks over like the main deck. And then also, you know, there's just so much dancing and music and all of that going on until the countdown. And it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Love it so much. This is like my third cruise for New Year's Eve. But anyways, that's not the point here. This bag is definitely one that I would carry for that. I think it is a beautiful bag myself. I, I love the like puffiness that sticks out from around the Gucci symbols i just think that's very pretty and i love how the ggs are debossed into this leather i think it's just gorgeous and it's got the double ggs right there i love it i love gold hardware with black it's my favorite and i know i showed you guys my beautiful new coach bag with the silver hardware but if i had to choose i'm gonna choose gold with black 100 percent so this is my bag that definitely gives me new year's eve vibes and it's definitely going with me on our cruise and I think it will be a great bag because it's not too big it's not too small and it's one that I can carry crossbody because who really wants to be carrying like a clutch when you're on a cruise ship <laughs> you know I mean it's something that you definitely want to not fool with so I'm going to drape it over me and yeah if it doesn't look good with whatever I'm wearing it's okay because it's more important that I don't set it down and it get lost because that's what we will be doing on New Year's Eve is on a deck out in the ocean with wind blowing and uh, thousands of people. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. So again, this is my bag that gives me New Year's Eve vibes. If I wasn't carrying this one, I would probably carry my Busey bag or my Kusin bag because they're beautiful too. And to me, just black kind of goes with New Year's Eve or silver, but I don't have a silver bag. And even red, I guess could, but this is gonna be all December. And then I'm going to take this with me on the cruise. So yeah, these are my bags and my accessories, which I call these my SLGs, but it doesn't really matter. Bottom line, these are the things that give me Christmas vibes. And I don't know if you guys can see them all, but yeah. So thanks for the tag. And I am going to tag some people myself in the description box below. So if y'all want, please do that tag. I think it's a great tag for this time of the year. And I would love to see what bags and accessories that you guys choose that gives you Christmas and New Year's Eve vibes. So yeah, y'all either drop them in the comments below or if I tag you, do the tag. And if I don't tag you, 
still go ahead and do the tag because it's hard whenever you're getting on there and you're trying to remember everybody to tag. So I tag who I can remember, which is usually a pretty good bit of people. And yeah, so y'all do that tag. But also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would appreciate it so very much. I am, you guys, like 10 away from reaching 3,000 subscribers. So please hit the subscribe button. Please like, share, and comment in the comment section. I enjoy interacting with you guys. 100% like makes my day so much fun and if you're not following me on Instagram I would appreciate if you would go over there and do that where I do mod shots and I also let you guys know when videos have been posted or when new things are coming out that Louis Vuitton is releasing and all kinds of little things like that so and when I say mod shots I think I've done like um, one or two <laughs> I think I've done like one or two, but that's okay. They're coming. They're coming. And then but I post a lot of like my travel pics on there and that sort of thing. So aside from all of that, again, I appreciate you guys so very much. But anyways, I will do my best to get this uploaded on day five. <laughs> if not, you guys will see it bright and early for um, day six. So I'm going to get off here now and go get my day going and get ready to get my daughter and get ready for the prey this afternoon so i'm just going to leave you all with i hope you have a great morning day evening or night whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this and for me it is a good morning and i will see you guys back tomorrow with another video and also merry christmas and happy holidays bye